What is up, car addicts? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that I do have a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars, so again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. So in today's video, we're going to be building Ice Cube's Lincoln Navigator from the 2005 movie Are We There Yet? It's a pretty entertaining road trip comedy film, which I'm sure most of you have seen at some point. I remember seeing it as a kid and I thought it was absolutely hilarious, a very entertaining movie. Now the SUV used in the movie was a second gen Lincoln Navigator with aftermarket wheels, pretty simple mainly stock minus the wheels. And the vehicle we're going to be using for this build is the Dundreary Land Stalker, which costs 58000 or of course you can get it off the street for free. Now the Land Stalker is mainly based on the 3rd gen Ford Expedition mixed with the 3rd gen Lincoln Navigator. So not quite the second gen like what we saw in the movie, but honestly I still think it's decently close and definitely by far the closest we have in the game. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for the Lincoln Navigator from the movie Are We There Yet? Alright, the Are We There Yet Lincoln Navigator. It'll be an interesting one. Alright, so armor breaks like I usually do for all these builds. Um, so front bumper, now the SUV it did have sort of like a, a chin spoiler, it wasn't as big as this one, but obviously it was definitely there, part of the design of the front end, um, so we're definitely going to do that. Engine, exhaust, now basically it was a stock navigator with aftermarket wheels for the most part, um, and the exhaust was very, very simple, um, definitely not as big as this, so I think stock is definitely going to be the way to go. Um, to keep it the most accurate. Um, lights, uh, this one will just keep them stock. Um, plate, now the plate was a white uh, background um, and the actual plate text was KMH 5 and 4. So for those of you who want to recreate that, um, I can't as of yet, no website from Rockstar for the plates at the time of this recording, so I'm just going to keep my standard text there. Um, respray. So of course the SUV was painted in black, so you can do a classic black if you want like this, um, or you can do my crew black, or if you're another crew that has the crew black which just looks a bit better, cleaner, um, just more of a pure black color, so we'll do that. Now in terms of the secondary color, which is the um, lower portion of this uh, vehicle, um, the real navigator had a textured, um, sort of like gray plastic um, on the whole like lower portion of the SUV. Now it didn't have as much on the doors like the Landstalker does, um, but in general I think it's a good reference and we need to do it. So I'm gonna go, gonna go here to the matte colors and then we're gonna put on the matte light gray. I think this is gonna be the closest to give us that sort of like plastic look. So we're gonna do that there. Continuing to roof, the SUV did have roof racks, and this option adds the roof rack, so you definitely want that. Side steps. Now, it already comes with side steps, you can see there. This option is just larger side steps that hang super, super low. Um, obviously, it, it, this does not work. The real one had very simple side steps, kind of like the stock ones here, so we're going to keep that standard. Suspension. Um, now this one's up to you, I think definitely the, the stock right height is a bit too high. So somewhere in the middle is really where you want to be. I think competition is just way too low, especially when you look at the back wheel. So um, either lowered or street to me is going to be the, the best option here. Um, so I mean you could also go with sport, but I, I still think that's way too low. Um, so honestly, I think... I think street is going to be the move, so we'll do street, transmission, uh, now it was a naturally aspirated V8, we obviously don't want the, uh, the turbo sound, so we'll skip the turbo upgrade on this one, wheels, so the wheels were chrome spinners, <laughs> giant wheels, uh, they were five spokes with the, of course, the five spoke spinner attached to it, uh, which of course we don't have spinners in GTA 5 Online. Um, so there's a bunch of different wheels you can put on here. Obviously you want to put a chrome wheel. So 
Street and track category is definitely out of the question. Those currently do not have a chrome section. Um, so you're going to have to pick something from either SUV, sports, or high-end. Pretty much like the only <laughs> options there in terms of like a large chrome um, you know, wheel. And I've gone through all of these and personally the closest to me. Again, you could pretty much throw almost any chrome five-spoke wheel you want on it. It would probably work. Um, but in terms of like that initial look when you first see it, um, to me, the Bipu, these right here, are going to be the closest. Just my personal uh, preference and what I think looks the best there. Because you can see the wheel sort of has like um, a two-piece look to it. And I think that's a nice reference to the uh, the spinners with the two-piece on it. Um, also, the, the spinner itself, the shape of it looked more like this. Whereas the base wheel, after the scene where <laughs> he destroyed it going off-road, off the road and all that... Um, the wheel behind the spinner actually it looks a bit more like the cutters so it's sort of like a mix between the cutter and the bipu so I think either one of those two you're fine with um, personally I think the the the, um, the bipus just look a bit better because they kind of reference the the spinner a bit more um, so those are the ones I'm gonna go for there the chrome bipus there um, and you can also go with sport um, and there's a lot of different five spoke wheels you can use here as well um, believe it or not the the rough wheels look pretty good too so yeah also all personal preference there um, windows now in some scenes the windows were like fully transparent and other scenes the back windows have a bit of a light tint to it so I mean <laughs> I obviously they most likely had a bunch of different navigators for the movie like pretty much every movie has when they're using a car for multiple scenes they usually have four you know three or four or five of the same um you know suv for backups and stunts and stuff like that so not all of them are going to be the same but i think it's definitely worth putting the light smoke on here as a as a reference to some of those so we'll do that and that's all the options there all right so unfortunately we can't do the super nice um like whitish interior that it had in the movie which i think would have been a nice classy touch but we got pretty much everything else i think it looks pretty good for a luxury suv from the early 2000s so let's go ahead and uh exit the ground take it for a drive here currently nighttime but look at that it looks so cool with those wheels and everything i mean it doesn't get more 2000s than that <laughs> giant chrome wheels like that that is awesome i love it and it has just enough chrome references to still sort of look like the the navigator um by far definitely the land stalker is the best one to use for this because uh, it's you know the expedition mixed with the navigators i mentioned earlier first person here is the typical copy paste suv interior which i guess sort of works on an suv this old However, believe it or not, the Navigator from, you know, was it 03, 04, it actually still looked, like, really good. I would say even better than this <laughs> interior. Had a pretty nice interior for back then. Um, but, uh, yeah, alright. Floor it here. Very, very smooth. Very slow, as you can imagine. It's one of the slower SUVs. But yeah, I mean, this thing's more of a cruiser, you know? Kind of get that nostalgia of early 2000s SUVs driving around on this thing, especially when you put some giant chrome wheels on it. Yeah, I think this is definitely a great reference to that movie. But honestly, I don't think this is one of those cars that you see it in somebody's garage or at a meet, and then you instantly think, oh yeah, that's the... The Lincoln Navigator from Are We There Yet? Not, not doesn't really click right away. It's something that you kind of have to explain to somebody. So, um, yeah, but I mean, it's still a build nonetheless, and and something that I mean, it's still probably worth adding to a movie garage if if you want to explain it to somebody as to what it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, either way, a very cool build. And um, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, open all the doors and stuff here. Trying to find some place with decent lighting. Um, I guess we'll do it up here. 
Excuse me. Thank you. Sorry. Alright. Not bad, not bad. See the chrome up here on the bottom of the windows. It doesn't have a sunroof, unfortunately. The, the one from the movie did have a sunroof, but... Everything else looks pretty cool. Alright, vehicle doors. Let's go here to all. Engine model. It does have a V engine model, so that's good. So, of course, the real navigator slash expedition. They use the V gates back in the day, so that, that definitely works there. Not the best texture quality, but this is an OG vehicle, and the, the original model was from GTA 4, so really can't expect much. Interior. I wish we could paint this interior and change the color, would be nice. Lots of trunk space, everything opens up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> probably definitely, I mean, honestly, any movie build that you can do with a, with a free street car, I would say it's worth it. I mean, this thing get off the street for free and make something sort of unique with it, you know, that, that most people really wouldn't think of. So, great suggestion, guys. Love this one. Extremely creative. And, of course, let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show build you want to see me do next that I haven't done yet. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.